Hello beautiful friends, it's Erica here to do the July video for the Divine Masculine Collective. This is where we look at the energies um, throughout the month, what you can expect in the Divine Masculine. Um, so I'm going to pull a major arcana theme for the month and a minor arcana theme for the month. So starting off for July for the Sacred Masculine Collective which as you know, I always emphasize watching for your personal masculine and feminine energies. And we're getting the strength card coming out. Okay. Well, what's interesting is I was, I was meditating before turning the camera on and I was being given a few different phrases. I was hearing answering the call and I was hearing recognition. Um, I was feeling the arrival of multiple masculine energies around me that were basically almost appearing out of nowhere. So um, this is, we'll see how these play out throughout the rest of the reading. But when we have the strength card here, this is all about courage. This is all about um, finding the strength within you. This is about taming the primal fears. And, um, you know, there's a ferocity here, obviously, with this tiger on this card but I'm going to pull a minor arcana to accompany this for the masculine and then pull some additional themes. And the ace of orbs, see, this is um, the ace of swords. So there could be suddenly a, um, certainly this could be the recognition I was referring to um, in, the, in the first part of the video where it's like communication, truth, clarity, and having the strength and the courage to speak, to act on whatever clarity or truth is coming forward. Let's actually add what's a hidden aspect under the surface here for the masculine. We have the eight of crystals. That's the eight of pentacles. So I feel like um, if you've been sort of in... I'm getting this feeling like you may not be aware of how much the sacred masculine has been focused on their working on understanding their journey, understanding the connection to the higher dimensions, to spirituality, to all of the things that you cannot see and the power that lies within these. So let's put these here to the side and add some additional themes here. There will be an extended, and in the extended, I go a lot more in depth for the masculine energy for the month, including what he's thinking and feeling about the feminine, their dynamic, what lessons he's learning, what uh, he may be strengthening this month and more. That link will be in the description box as always. So let's get another theme for the divine masculine for July, 2023. The Wizard of Awareness. Isn't this interesting? Because again, it's almost like he's discovering the magical universe and all the, all the different things that maybe he didn't have an access to or able to tap into before. And it's almost as though like with this awareness, with this truth, with this clarity and knowledge, it's almost like he's, he knows what to do with it now. He knows how to use this clarity and this truth um, to create that which he wants to create. What other theme do we have for the masculine here? Okay, we're getting a couple that just flipped over. We're getting embarking on an adventure and taking action. Well, maybe this is why there was suddenly all these masculines appearing out of, seemingly out of nowhere in my vision which is about embracing life and the boundless possibilities, um, going on an adventure, seeing things from new perspectives, new, exploring new vistas. Um, whatever knowledge and information that is coming through for the masculine and has been for a period of time, I feel like July is the time and the month where there may be some um, movement. Because, the, you know, think about it. If you're suddenly waking up to some superpowers that you have, right? So to put it simply, 
you don't want to go out and rush out and like do stuff and screw things up. Like you want to understand them. You want to feel them. You want to know what to do with these new abilities and this new information and this new awareness. Um, you know, and, and summoning strength and courage where he may have been holding back. Let's get a final theme here for the masculine for July before I get the tarot started. Success. Wow. And here's another big cat. There's a black panther sitting there. It's almost like there, again, sort of like this. He's there in the shadows, not really being seen, but see how his eyes are glowing, right? These yellow, beautiful eyes of this black panther. It's the month of the, of the big cats. <laughs> um, so I feel like if you have been feeling, I don't know, it's almost like success is, is sort of lurking in the bushes here on the sidelines. And, but the, the, it's not a menace. It's, he's not menacing. He's very much like, in order to be successful, there is an element of stealth that I'm feeling from the masculine. Almost like, okay, I have the truth, I have the information, but I'm not gonna go and like blab it to everybody. I'm gonna move slowly here, quietly, in order to maximize my, my chances for success. Again, very aware. This, this panther, is very aware of its surroundings. It doesn't just like boldly go out there like this, right? Like the tiger. He kind of blends in. He stands out. Take that as it resonates for you. So let's add to um, more of what is going on for the masculine throughout the month. How does he come into the month of July? What's his overall energy in terms of what's going on for him? Okay, the new moon in Virgo energy, time to give rather than take. The blue moon energy, believe in the impossible, followed by the full moon in Cancer, personal issue reaches resolution. Finishing out the month, letting go of negativity, the full moon in Scorpio. So this is a month where... I feel like the masculine starts off relatively practically and tangibly, but then ends up um, in his emotions, in his feelings, um, wrapping up some very, very deep and emotional cycles. There's something that he wants to put effort in, something tangible a new project, a new relationship, um, a new path. But I feel like there could be almost like, you know, ready to put some effort into something, but there could be a little bit of a crisis of faith. But I feel like by the end of the month, what he's letting go of is the deep emotions that he would not actually achieve what he desired to achieve. And the only way to know sometimes is to act, right? Is to do, it's not just to sit and think about it. So let's, um, I'm going to pull 16 cards now to add to this. We're going to go through the weeks of the month. Again, these are the energies. There will be a, meet, a reading for the Divine Feminine as well. And those of you that are waiting on the course release, that will likely, uh, that will be happening in July. I'm going to make it happen in July, unless of course things shift. But as of right now, the plan is to release that brand new course that I did the webinar on a couple weeks ago that you guys are really excited about. So I'll leave it at that for now. I'll be, I'll be detailing more of that within my inner circle, not here on YouTube. For a variety of reasons. <laughs> let's, let's pull the 16 cards. Hold on, I gotta specify what I'm gonna start with here first. Okay, spiritually, what is going on? There's that Ace of Swords again, followed by the Lovers, followed by the Nine of Swords, 
followed by the King of Swords. What's going on in his physical world? Ace of Pentacles. Ooh, see what I mean? Tangible new beginning. Three of Cups. Five of Swords. Two of Cups. See, thinking about the Eight of Cups. Ten of Pentacles. Sorry, Ten of Wands, my bad. King of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles, wow. And what's he feeling? Okay, I'm going to move these because these are big cards. They take up a lot of space. And what's he feeling throughout the month? The magician? Yeah, let's do this. I'm hearing like, let's do this. The Knight of Swords. Nine of Cups. The Seven of Cups. Ace of Wands at the bottom of the deck. So we have three aces showing themselves up here. So a lot of new beginnings, a lot of initiating energy, a lot of opportunities to start on a new path. But um, let me just tune in here for a moment. The, uh, this clarity is really coming out, right? This Ace of Swords was the first two tarot cards to come out other than this major arcana. But um, it's like truth, victory, This is why the masculine has recognition and he's answering the call. He's been given the sword of truth by Archangel Michael and he knows what to do with it now. This can be making decisions. This is about knowing um, what he wants. The, the impossible that he's believing in has to do for many of you about love, sacred partnership. Um, but if it's not that for you, that's relating to you know doing what you love, doing what you're being called to do for your purpose here in this incarnation. And for many of you, what's on the mind is walking away from something, you know, um, with this eight of cups, taking responsibility. Man, many of this is where, where have you walked away from something that may have been part of your destined path, but you just let fear and things stop you from actually going for it. Before I get too deep into this, I'm going to pull another layer here, but um, I feel like this is a month where there may be just this like clear, I feel like when the divine masculine shows up this month, he's going to see that the divine feminine appears at his side as well, where it's like, show me that you are in the mas divine masculine energy and the divine feminine will match you lockstep but it's it's something that he may be stressing about feeling a sense of um gosh i just keep getting drawn to all of this water energy which is emotions right and he's ending up in his physical world with this two of cups by the end of this month He shows up and then she matches him, especially with the King of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles here on his mind. It's like they're on the same page. And I feel like there's um, just like he's answering the call because look at these two cards the magician the sky's like i'm gonna make this happen i'm gonna go for it and the knight of swords goes for it speaks his truth he's the fastest moving knight in the deck along with the knight of wands so it's almost like you know charge we're gonna go for it the magician is the major arcana which is very similar energy a little bit to this wizard of awareness and there's this feeling of like hopes and dreams
I almost, it's almost like I just am feeling the energy and it's, it's, um, let me just add some here before I say anything else. It's like the words don't do it justice is my point. So what's this sort of truth about? Yeah. Seven of swords. It's like starting off the month in this physical world. Okay. Three of swords on his mind here is the eight of cups with the nine of wands. The magician in his heart. Strength. Okay. Here's what I'm feeling. This is where the masculine gets the courage to break down his own walls of where he's not been living his truth. And this clarity in this communication coming in spiritually is like, I've been fooling myself. I've been lying. I've been keeping this hidden. I've not been living my truth. And in the physical world with this eight of pentacles, it's like the universe is like this new beginning. Now that you see the truth, it's solid. It may come with a little bit of um, sadness. If this is a situation where somebody, you know, this masculine, or if you're the divine masculine and you walked away, it's like, this is where, even though that caused pain, you don't want to give up on this. You have to give it a shot. And the reason you walked away before potentially was because you were very guarded, was too much, and you're coming in and taking responsibility. It's like, you know, you have to take responsibility for whatever happened. Um, I do feel like this could be almost like when you suddenly see the truth and you act on this truth and you put effort into something new, there's something to celebrate here, something worth celebrating, something exciting. It's almost like you're so excited now that you have this truth and this clarity that you want to go act on it. And, and, but it's also not, it's also about kind of, again, keeping it somewhat sacred. The lovers getting the queen of pentacles. Many of you are deciding about long-term committed partnerships and what those mean to you. And are they of the level of, of, um, sacred union? Are they fulfilling you spiritually? King of Wands. I feel like whatever action you know that you take, you know that like it's going to you're going to be good. You're taking responsibility for the past. Divine masculine and you're feeling like you want to go for it because you know who you love. Right? It's like this 2 of cups, it's in your heart and you want to go you want to go for it now. Because I feel like there's a part of you that's like, you know, you can't just keep living this way any longer. You can't live in denial any longer because the truth is the truth. You know the truth. It, for some of you, it may involve making decisions. But what you, it's like, you might think this is a one in a blue moon opportunity, that this is actually going to happen. But you, you're being driven by this fire within you to, have, to be courageous, to speak the truth. Yet there's a part of you that's a little stressed about it by the, this time. You know, it's a little bit nerve wracking, right? You don't want to make the same mistakes you made before. Wow, King of Pentacles twice in the third week. You don't want to make the same mistakes you made before. You don't want to keep fighting in a situation and not getting anywhere. And on your mind here is deciding to heal but you're hopeful. You're hopeful that this queen of cups, that who you love, loves you. But you know your truth. You have some confidence, even though it's a little intimidating. Here's that ace of swords. You know who you love. The ace of swords with the two of cups, the knight of swords with the two of cups. I mean, it's very clear here. If you've been fooling yourself about a, like a, a relationship or a career path that you're like, oh, I used to love this and I still love it. And it's like, no, you really don't. You now have the clarity of what, who you want to give your heart and your energy to. And here again, twice in the mindset is the 10 of wands is releasing the burdens you've been carrying. 
on your mind is I don't want to give up on this. I'm going to take responsibility. I'm going to man up to what I know my spiritual calling is, and that is to unite with the sacred feminine. And that spirit It's like spiritually, you know what's been chosen for you. You know what's meant for you. So in terms of the repeating cards here, I mean, we've got the Two of Cups twice. We've got the Strength card twice. We have the Ace of Swords twice. Queen of Pentacles twice. I mean, this is... Um, It's almost as though, again, coming back to the themes here, you're going to feel this calling. You're answering the call to go forward, to cross this river into a new world, to take action. And this is where I've seen this a lot in my client sessions where it's like there's this, there's this moment where it's just so clear and so obvious and it's just, it just is. There's no more questioning, fears, I don't knows, uncertainty. It's just, I don't think it could be any clearer what I need to do. And I feel like July is a month where this, acting on this truth and this clarity brings about this success. I think I'm going to leave it there for now. Um, in the extended, guys, I am going to go a lot more in depth here with this divine masculine energy for the month of July, um, including specifics about what he's thinking, feeling specific to the divine feminine, but more importantly as well, what lessons he's learning, what unconscious um, shadows could be coming up for him this month to pay attention to so he doesn't sabotage. Um, how he's being strong and in his power. And um, so with that, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. Um, I will refrain from speaking about what this channel is doing to my channel and has been for years, but um, we will uh, <laughs> leave that for another day. But I hope to see some of you over in the extended. And... I send you love. Bye.